Hey guys, I'd like to introduce you to Vision Craft. So what is Vision Craft? Current large language models have a cutoff date for their training data, which means that if you want to code something that has been recently released, it just simply cannot do that or it will hallucinate as to what the code might be, which can be really frustrating and can waste a lot of time in coding and in trying to debug the problem. So for example, if you're trying to code OpenAI's Agent SDK or Google's SDK, or even YOLO v12 from computer vision. If you try to code those things, your AI will try to look on the internet and maybe it might get it right, it might find the right documentation, but it may not and may simply default to its training data and give you hallucinated code. So that's where VisionCraft comes in. VisionCraft connects your Vibe Coder to the latest and up-to-date context. I'm using Windsurf, but you can use any Vibe Coding tool out there or even use Cloud Desktop. So I'm gonna simply ask, give me the hello world example for open AI agents SDK. Use the VisionCraft MCP server. Now, as you can see, I already have VisionCraft installed as my MCP server. I'm just gonna click enter and let's see how it... So as you can see, what it's doing, it's querying the open AI agents SDK and looking for all of the relevant documentation and I think there we have it. Let's just confirm if we do actually have the right thing. If we look at the original repository, we can see that it's importing from agents, import agents and runner. And it says you are a helpful assistant and it's got that precisely. So we use our proprietary Raven engine to get this level of pinpoint accuracy. Let's maybe try ask it about the functions example. So I can say rather give me the functions example from the open AI SDK agents SDK and let's see if it works. So over here is saying open AI agents SDK calling example Python and it gets in all of the information that it needs to and here it's building up all of the functions that it needs for the agents to work. Now this not only works in Windsor but also in cursor and Klein. Let's go check it out in Klein. So we go to MCP servers. So uninstalled, we have VisionCraft MCP server. So let's say done. And let's ask it to write us the code for SAM2 by Meta. Use the VisionCraft MCP server tool that you have to query. Cool, so it went through all of the knowledge over here. This is M2 by Meta code. And over here, it's going through the Ultralytics libraries for SAM. So it's importing that. It's loading the SAM models. And now what I like about Klein is that it goes ahead and tries to run the script to test it out. So let's see, will it work? So over here, it's performing segmentation on this image. So this is a standard image. It already has the SAM2 weights. And look at that, we already have our image segmented in what? It was probably under a minute. Yeah, that's the power of VisionCraft. We currently have under a hundred libraries and repositories that we have under VisionCraft. We plan to expand this library to over thousands and maybe even tens of thousands in the upcoming month or two. So if you want to learn more about VisionCraft, check the link down below and yes, every bit of support that we receive from you guys will go into the development of VisionCraft, making it the best gap closer for your large language models and your vibe coding tool to make sure that you don't run into any bugs and that you can run these examples just like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about VisionCraft. Is this something that you'll end up using? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next.